welcome back into Let's Review. I'm Chris McDougall, joined alongside Arizona Dimebacks pitcher and MJ fanatic, Zach Allen. Zach, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. So in our episode today, we're going to be reviewing the first two episodes of the docuseries, The Last Dance. What time is it? My mentality was to go out and win at any cost. And we thought we would put it on you in case you've been living under a rock to summarize the first two episodes in seven seconds or less. Do you think you can do that? Ooh, seven seconds. Um, yeah, it was incredible. Um, yeah, it was just incredible. That's how I describe it. it was, if you haven't seen it, watch it. So what did we learn in this first episode, in your opinion? Uh, I mean, it's the... The weird thing about how they're doing it, I mean, I had no, you know, information before, but like the timelines, it's a little tough to follow, but they're just kind of introduced. And the first episode was about Michael Jordan, you know, where he came from, where he, who he played for, all this stuff. And then I think as it's going to go on, they're going to introduce the other characters, the other players in, in this show. So, but the first two episodes were really good. Last Dance. Charts the rise of the 1990s Chicago Bulls led by Michael Jordan, one of the most notable dynasties in sports history. Do you agree with that? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Wholeheartedly agree. Okay, some quick facts on the docuseries. Episodes one and two released last Sunday to start, and there are eight remaining episodes to follow. According to ESPN, today's episodes were the network's most viewed documentary content ever. Yeah, it was like 6.1 million people or something like that. Ridiculous. Not that you know the numbers at all. No, nah, I didn't see the tweet earlier today or anything like that. But yeah, <laughs> that's a rough guess. All right. So for those first two episodes, what worked for you? Uh, I mean, I think just the education standpoint of it, and I don't know if that's like the right word, but just like, you know, I wasn't alive during, I mean, I, well, I was like two years old during the last dance to turning three. Um, but yeah, just to be able to go back and see that footage, I think that's kind of been the, the main thing for me. That's, that's been cool. I, I kind of, I knew a lot of this stuff just cause you know, following Jordan and just being a fan and kind of having an idea like, but for them to take, take a deeper dive into it and to get information and see it in video footage, I thought it was pretty cool. Right. And I thought they did a nice job too of outlining the characters specifically, like people who maybe didn't follow this this run so closely. You were expecting it to be kind of in chronological order, and they totally took that out, and they really gave that deep dive into the characters. Who was Scottie Pippen? Who was Scottie Pippen to Michael Jordan? Who was Jerry Krause? And I think that insight was really cool to add the context of the whole Bulls era. Well, in the first two episodes, was there anything that didn't work for you? Anything you were hoping to see early on that you didn't? Um, yeah, the next eight episodes. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, for a long haul, staying up till sunrise to watch them all. I could have stayed up till 4 a.m. to watch every episode. I mean, I probably would at some point, I probably would have fallen asleep, but I would have been glued to the TV for at least six of those episodes. Um, but yeah, no, I, I thought it was, I thought it was really good. Um, and I was doing some research on the, on the, creator director whatever he's also done down iverson um documentary and stuff like that so he's had some success so i think this one's only gonna get better yeah and you felt that very like very specifically that they were outlining it the way they were they were looking just that they were going to leave that stuff out they wanted to set the scene so appropriately so that they can do a deeper dig into into all the layers that was this entire era. Yeah, I'm sure this was was very calculated. Um, Michael Jordan, you know, seems to be a very calculated person. So I think when he had the sign off on the the footage and stuff like that, it was they weren't gonna put this thing. Uh, they weren't they weren't gonna take it lightly, as from what I imagine. let's have a little fun and regionalize this a little bit if there was a last dance style documentary on anyone on the current diamondbacks roster who would be entertaining as hell to watch i mean i think the obvious answer is i think a lot of people would say archie just because of his personality but also a big jordan i'm also a big jordan fan as is merrill kelly um we have a lot of guys there that 
those are the two Jordan guys. We have other guys with this that like the sneakers. Um, my two picks though would be either Bumgarner, just because I don't think you would get enough. I don't think there's enough out there on him, which I think is by his choice. Um, but also Escobar. I think Eduardo Escobar would be a good one. Uh, I feel like I'm laughing all the time when I'm around him. So I think those would be two entertaining ones. So to wrap things up to episodes one and two of The Last Dance, was there any one big question that you were left with after watching those two episodes? I think my question probably would be, how are they going to, like, where else are they going to go? How are they going to tell the rest of the story? Like, what else are they going to dive into? Right. But there wasn't anything that I was kind of still, you know, left on. Okay, consensus of the first two episodes of Last Dance. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, th big time thumbs up. Roger Ebert, two thumbs up. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, it was... You're so happy. Yeah, yeah, a little shout out there. Um, but yeah, no, it was uh, good. Yeah, it was, it was good. I'm only hoping for more. All right, Zach Gallon, we'll have to catch you in the next two episodes coming out Sunday. Thank you for your time. Thank you.